Okay, doing the front brakes. Uh, sorry, I jumped ahead on you here. I've already taken the wheel off. For those of you who haven't taken the wheel off, imagine the wheel's in here. Get this space over here. And you get a bolt on this side. And you undo these two Allen bolts. Take the bolt off of here. Slide this through, be aware the spacer is going to come out. You're going to then take your brake calipers and you take the two bolts off and you're going to kind of rock it back and forth because what you're doing is you're opening this up a little bit and it's got to get a little bit of space in there so that it's got room. You can finally rotate it out, rotate the other side out, the wheel comes off. Now I'm going to upgrade from the EBC pads and I'm going with, these are from CL, Carbon Lorraine, they're made in France. And uh, I think I uh, showed you the back already or you'll be seeing it soon. This is the back. Uh, the front, this is... This is a, if you think of the EBC as a stock alternative, this is going to be your entry level track day brake pad. You've got a ceramic coating on the back that helps disperse heat. And it is uh, supposed to be just a much better pad, so I am hoping that is the case. I've honed the discs, which you will see, and now we're ready to install these. First we're going to pull this little pin out. It's going to allow us to tap this pin out. <laughs> See how easy they come out? Pull that out pads come right out. These are the old pads. Still have life to them, but I'm going on a long trip through the mountains and I want better brakes. All right. Most importantly, do not get any grease on the pad. Do not contaminate them. We want to make sure everything in here is all clean. And we want to push these calipers in some. Unless you have little wee hands, you should be able to just grab it and squeeze it in. Theoretically. Okay. Now we're going to take some copper based grease. Where did the copper... Oh, anti -seize. Again, don't touch the pad. We're going to pull a little smear on the back. some on the bolt. Helps to have three hands at this point. Take both the pads and get them up in there.
and put the pin back in. And there is a little notch that you can use to line up the hole. Put a little smear grease on here. Remember, we got to put the spacer back in or this cover. Mosquitoes. On the other side, we've got our speed sensor we're going to line up. Make sure the orientation is right. There we go. Put our bolt back on. We're going to tighten the axle nut to 30 newton meters. There we go. And you want to get something in the hole on this side to hold it. Okay. And these are going to get to 20. And if you need a quick reference chart, I made a reference chart that you can get on my website. Kind of makes it all easier. Now we're going to get the brakes back on. Got to brake calipers. Clean my hands. We're going to take this, we've got them spread as much as we can, and just slip that over. Get these bolts on here. You know what? And I think I said 20 and I meant 22.
and the caliper bolts are going to be at 30. And that's it. Um, the other thing you want to do is, as soon as you get these down, go through and spray the disc with brake cleaner. Clean off both sides really good, just in case you accidentally contaminated it. You don't want it to get onto the pad itself. And uh, brake job done. The next thing is going to be bedding them. So you're going to want to take it easy, you know, the whole process, the whole way a brake works is not just this rubbing against that. You're actually taking this material off and you're embedding it into the, the disc and then it's that material embedded in here working with this it's kind of like grain on grain and that's why we go through when we hone it so that we take off some of that old debris from the old pads and we give ourselves a better surface to get the new material onto the disc so they can work better so once you got these on here take it easy for you know go out for a long ride but gently use the brakes don't get yourself in a position where you're going to really be hammering on them because you don't want to overheat these you don't want to warp them you don't want to glaze anything over let it uh, bed in there and then you're going to be good to go alright so what we've got here is my new homemade turntable with a new honing disc for cleaning up the surface of these brake discs. There we have a newly honed brake disc. Look at that nice pattern. Beautiful. So if you're in the area and you need your brakes honed, shoot me an email. Doug's new brake service. Once you get the rear tire off using a number eight you can I've already obviously loosened them take out two bolts this one's got a washer on it this one this bracket acts as the washer and that will release your brake caliper There's a little bracket. And the caliper comes right off. And we've got our brake pads. These uh, aren't worn, but I'm gonna change them anyways. So we need to take these pins out. 
you got a pin over there it's going to we're going to release that we'll be able to pull these out Pull this little clip off. Obviously, it doesn't take much. Pen comes out. And down come the pads. Obviously very different looking. But there's also quite a difference in the thickness. This one is coming in at about 10.2. Ten point one five millimeters, and the EBC eight point four, eight point four nine. So quite a uh, the bracket itself is the same size. But that's a lot of material that is, um, I don't know if you can see that, big difference in material. Also looks to be already having some cross hatching on the CLs. So we will try them out. Putting the pads back in, just the reverse of taking them out. Let's get rid of those mosquitoes. Um, you're going to want to compress the caliper back in a little bit. If your pads are larger, obviously, than your old ones. You can use a little bit of a C-clamp, just very light pressure. Push those back in, but you want to make sure, obviously, you don't have any <clears throat> debris in there. Clean that all out. Um, so you're not screwing up any of the seals. And using a little copper-based grease or anti-seize, we're going to put a little bit on the back of the pad, making sure we don't get any on the front. Get that seated in there. here light them out get that in there and then we're just going to put this pin back in Put a little excess on there, won't hurt. And providing you haven't lost a little clip, put that. Jeez. Come on. Can't get my fingers to work. There we go. Make sure that's all the way in. Alright. And now, spread these out a bit. All right, sits right in. I'm 
gonna put our bolts back in and we're gonna we're gonna torque that to 40 newton meters. We've already got our disc cleaned up and we'll be good to go. Don't forget to get it through the bracket. Alright, and we're just going to install the back wheel.